Good morning everyone, welcome to morning prayer here in my the other end of my sofa in my study. Um, it's the other end of the bookshelf that makes me look intelligent but uh, the keen eyed of you will notice that actually if you go above about that shelf and one or two shelves above you you'll actually see there's actually tons of children's books there uh, because we couldn't find anywhere else for them. So actually my, my, my theological resource is just sort of kind of this bit really, uh, I'm not that good. Um, Anyway, welcome. What are we going to do today? I, thankfully, I, <laughs> mercifully for you, I don't have any great wisdom, and uh, that's probably a good thing. It feels like today we just need to settle. It feels like the worst of the shocks of this last week and a half have, um, have hit us and gone through us. We've experienced some griefs. We may still be experiencing grief. We're worried about solitude. But today, I just want to say, listen to the birds. Enjoy the sky and the sun and the fresh air. Be present in this strange time. Don't try and deny it or fight it or run from it. It will end. And I sincerely hope that whatever the new normal is, is one that's got better grace than perhaps it can have. So we're going to have a straight morning prayer this morning. Um, the psalm is Psalm 53. Uh, the reading is Hebrews 10, 19 to 25, and I'll put them in the notes at the bottom. Uh, and thank you for those of you who are brave enough to join me last night for, for Eden's evening prayer, which was an experiment. Um, I can tell you, I lost 20 viewers from my average viewings. I think an awful lot of people looked at it and said, well, I'm not doing that. Um, so <laughs> that's fine. We are incidentally going to have music um, for our, our service. Adrian Dack has recorded a backing track uh, for a hymn. And if I'm feeling brave and intelligent, I might do a backing track myself for something else. But I haven't quite got that far yet. Um, I'll be recording it tomorrow because the weather forecast says tomorrow is going to be sunny as well and uh, I want to do it outside and I want to do it with the Tilbrook Church in the background to remind us that actually these places are, are, are gathering for worship are still important to us. Shall we join together in prayer? O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory for ever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit, and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. And we go on to a song of penitence. Have mercy on me, O God, in your great goodness. According to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my offences. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my faults and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence and righteous in your judgment. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me again the joy of your salvation and sustain me with your gracious spirit. Then shall I teach your ways to the wicked and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from my guilt, O God, the God of my salvation and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen.
Psalm 53, on page 725. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Corrupt are they, and abominable in their wickedness. There is no one that does good. God has looked down from the heaven upon the children of earth to see if there is any one who is wise and seeks after God. They are all gone out of the way, all alike have become corrupt. There is no one that does good, no, not one. Have they no knowledge, those evildoers who eat up my people as if they ate bread and do not call upon God? There shall they be in great fear, such fear as never was, for God will scatter the bones of the ungodly. They will be put to shame, because God has rejected them. O oh, that Israel's salvation would come out of Zion, when God restores the fortunes of his people. Then will Jacob rejoice, and Israel be glad. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Without you, O God, nothing is real. All things are open to corruption, and we are deadened by deceit. Do not abandon us to our folly, but give us hearts that seek you, and at the last, joy in your heavenly city. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we continue with the canticle on page 240. Full of compassion and mercy and love is God the Most High, the Almighty. Lord Almighty and God of our ancestors, you who made heaven and earth in all their glory, all things tremble with awe at your presence before your great and mighty power. Immeasurable and unsearchable is your promised mercy, for you are God Most High. You are full of compassion, long-suffering and very merciful, and you relent at human suffering. O God, according to your great goodness, you have promised forgiveness for repentance to those who have sinned against you. The sins I have committed against you are more in number than the sands of the sea. I am not worthy to look up to the height of heaven because of the multitude of my iniquities. And now I bend the knee of my heart before you, imploring your kindness upon me. I have sinned, O God, I have sinned, and I acknowledge my transgressions. Unworthy as I am, you will save me according to your great mercy. For all the host of heaven sings your praise, and your glory is for ever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Full of compassion and mercy and love is God the Most High, the Almighty. So we're at Hebrews 10, chapter chapter 10, uh, verses 19 to 25. And this is the writer coming to the end of a long conversation about the meaning of Christ and the meaning of his sacrifice. Therefore, brothers, since we have confidence to enter the holy places by the blood of Jesus, by the new and living way that he opened for us through the curtain, that is, through his flesh, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more, as you see the day drawing near. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God continue on page 241. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. You are the God of my salvation. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I hope all the day long. O my God, in you I trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, 
for they are from everlasting. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. We join together in intercession now. Lord God, we thank you that you've been with us in this strange time. We thank you that there is movement now happening for the self-employed. And we do pray for all of our friends who are self-employed and are are losing massive amounts of money and we pray for them their family lives their stability and their well-being and we do pray that you give the Chancellor wisdom and courage as he makes whatever decisions he's doing today Lord in your mercy hear our prayer Lord we pray for the many parents and children at home now learning how to be different Please help them to be okay with not being perfect. And help us, Lord God, to be okay with not feeling okay. Lord, we pray for your comfort and care for all those who are more lonely than usual. Those whose solitude has been enhanced and entrenched and made more difficult. Give them your blessing, Lord, and inspire us with who we should phone. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we thank you for the work of our politicians and leaders, and we thank you particularly for the technical and medical expertise that is showing great sense and leadership at the high levels of office. Give them your resilience and help them in their work. We also thank you for the many volunteers in our communities. And we pray particularly today for Charles and Stephen in Tilbrook. We thank you for the work they've done in, in bringing together uh, community support here in Tilbrook. Please give them the wisdom they need and all the other volunteers and help them be hopeful. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray, Father, that you unblock any supply chain issues when it comes to ventilators and, and all of the medical equipment and protective equipment needed for the medical professions. And we ask in your mercy that you bring all of these things online, in, on stream, ready for when and if high pressure comes into our hospitals. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for us, Lord. Lord, we lift to you our griefs and our anxieties. We lift our discomfort And as our sorrows cloud our minds and hearts, may your presence 
be louder. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Finally, Lord, I want to pray for the economic well-being of this country and of your world. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And our collect for the day. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing that you have made and forgive the sins of all those who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may receive from you the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Bye-bye now.